All right, it's tool time again. I uh, scored these from Home Depot. It was a uh, combo. These close quarters, uh, close quarters tubing cutter set uh, that I had my eye on for a little bit. They had it on the website. They had it for the same price uh, with these two demo drivers. It was kind of a special promotion or something. So I'd also kind of looked at these. Uh, with some interest, they seem like they're pretty sturdy and whatnot, and they're good for the tool bag. I, mean, I think that is a, I think that's a number three tip on there. It should be. That's usually what you need when you got a beefy one like that. Uh, that's number two. So I might still have to keep one of the other drivers in there, but oh well. Um, so yeah, I'll probably end up putting these in the tool bag also. But um, yeah, so these look like they work really nice. Um, I have the rigid ratcheting cutter. You've probably maybe seen one. Uh, a video or two um, not sure if I've specifically showed it but it, it works for most situations but and it, and it does go up to uh, inch and an eighth pipe so that's good um, but the uh, for some of the smaller stuff it's it's still a little bit quite a bit bulkier than these these will really get into like tight spaces like uh, in between stud bays in the wall or something like that so um, not something I'll have to use terribly often but I want to have it when uh, when I do and then of course I have the little mini imperial tubing cutter too that's even even tinier than this, you know, for the but that only goes up to, to five eighths. So um, so that'll be a nice addition to the kit. They leave you wanting some things here, <laughs> of course. Uh, I guess they give you an uh, they they offer a reaming pencil. I, I kinda like the one I have that's uh, my pocket one of my pocket carry items, but um uh, wouldn't be a bad idea to stash some replacement blades in there. Uh, that was one of the things I liked about this. The blades were replaceable, so and they seem like they're pretty well made. You know, it seems like they're worth be worth replacing instead of just throwing away. So, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Um, got a pair of Klein needle nose that were in the same order, but they didn't come with this one, so they kind of separated out sometimes. So, so yeah, just wanted to show you guys that a little tool update, and um, looking forward to using them. I right, got another another new batch of tools here. Uh, I wanted to show you guys. Uh, continued expanded my M12 kit with this vacuum. It looked like it was pretty pretty worthwhile. I think it's about 60 bucks, maybe 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 65 or something like that. I uh, bought a couple of the replacement filters for them. Those seem kind of small, you know. They're not gonna have a ton of capacity, but should be cleanable unless you get into something real nasty, I guess. Uh, I got a little extension wand and you know some kind of what do you want to call them? car cleaning attachments. Um, I have a little somewhere. I have like a little detail car detailing kit that will fit this size too. Um, that goes you know, has like the micro chisel tip and and just, you know just basically miniaturized versions of all the kind of typical vacuum attachments. So that might work pretty good for car detailing as well. Uh, it's not. I'm I'm gonna try it out as. Uh, just a job site thing for uh, picking up drywall dust for making a hole for the thermostat wire or something like something along those lines uh, so you don't have to bring in the, any kind of corded back even though you know, the shop back, little handheld shop back or stinger back is not too bad but um, anyway so I'm hoping it'll work out pretty good I've heard some people say that the suction is not very good and you can't you know but I think they're trying to pick up metal chips and stuff like that which uh, we have a couple of them. I bet you it'll do light metal chips. I think they're trying to like clean out a uh, a mill or something like that that had like oil laden metal chips. So, anyways, uh, they got this eight piece Klein's just a solid shaft screwdriver set here. I uh, got kind of got all the basic sizes in. You got the number three, uh, whatever, whatever width. You got know, the different widths of the flat blade too. And then that's that's the square shank one. So that's like the real. Uh, kind of heavy duty one or whatever and you know this this one has the hex nut on it too you can really uh, crank down on it with a wrench or something a couple stubbies number two and whatever that is three sixteens five sixteens doesn't say anyways seemed like a decent set i just wanted to have that for the backpack bag there this is the I uh, got some Milwaukee bit kits here too. This is security Torx. Uh, I came across a need for security Torx with the security insert and Hex with the security insert. Uh, I took those out of the package like an idiot already. And then I want to try out this kind of long uh, power bit, is what they call this. 
seems kind of nice. I have a specific drill I want to use that for, for the one I, I use inside the house for taking apart electronics and stuff. So, anyways, just another little update. I think there was one or two more things that were in this order. I don't remember what, but uh, they didn't come with the bulk of the items here, so I guess they didn't make it in this particular update. So, anyways, um, yeah, that's it. Hope you uh, hope you enjoyed it. I figured I might as well give it a try. I have a little hole from where I drilled my water filter thing out here. Not sure if I showed you that I added this, added this little charcoal filter in line to the pot filler, but I did. I think that was after the first video, but anyway, so let's see if it'll clean up these wood chips. I'm using one of the heavier duty batteries. I'm not sure if that makes a difference or not, but I mean, yeah, it works pretty good, I guess. I mean, it's definitely, uh, you can tell the suction is not major. Uh, probably not the ideal tip for what I was trying to do here. Uh, that little um, nozzle, one of the nozzles probably would have done a little better. But, yeah, I cleaned up the wood chips. I had a couple loose pieces of solder down here. It picked up those, seemingly. You can hear them rattling around in there. So, not bad. I think it's I think it's going to do what I expected to. Um, so, I think people may have had a little too high expectations of what something like this could do so eh, you know we'll see I think it, I think it's a good buy I think it's I think it's worth it for I think it'll be worth I'll get 60 bucks 60 bucks worth of use out of it for sure so so I figured I'd show you my daily bit kit here and the one I just always uh, kind of mean kit I carry with my m12 stuff um, it's kind of customized this was one that I bought I think separately or around the same time I bought the actual drill and driver kit, which has been um, the drill and you know compact or uh, yeah the compact impact I guess. Um, so yeah, I've had those for at least five years or something. They've both served me well. Still using them every day. Um, so that's that's pretty cool I guess. Um, and I bought this bit kit around the same time, and I've. I've changed it quite a bit. Um, I, I have. A, I'm gonna get the nut driver insert kit, which is uh, one of, like one of these nut drivers. Uh, it's a, made like a bit for the bit holder, so um, that will have all the. Uh, they give you five sizes, I think. Yeah, yeah. It's got quarter inch, five sixteenths, three eighths, seven sixteenths, and then half inch, I guess. Yeah, that'd be right. So, anyways, those will fit in there. That's going to be fill that blank space. And then uh, this is something I added. Uh, this seven sixteenths. This kit came with the half inch, with the with the socket adapter and the half inch and the nine sixteen sockets, the impact sockets. And I put the seven sixteenths in here because you need that one all the time too for, um, uh, especially for driving the uh, uh, nuts on the unistrike on the cush clamps, uh, like for a copper pipe. So that yeah, seven sixteens comes up all the time too. I do have a nut driver also that's this size. Um, it's just a my spare bit kit, uh, which I think I talked about that earlier. And like this one I'm building now, my spare bits go in a similar one like this. That are just extras. I'm making this one into a security bit. You know, um, again, they're all impact resistant, so I've definitely broken a couple of security bits. You know, on because the fastener was pretty tight. Um, even though it was a security screw, so uh, I've got another another little bit kit coming, and then I think there's probably some other ones outside of that as well. So can definitely get a pretty good range of impact ready uh, security bits, which would be cool. And so this is my my daily kit for now. I got the uh, the hex sizes here, 16 through uh, quarter inch. So one one through um, one through six here, and then eight seven eight right there. Uh, the three different square sizes. I believe those are just square one, two, and three, if I'm not mistaken. And then I have uh, Phillips one, two, and three. And then uh, oh, maybe three sixteenths and quarter inch flat. 
obviously don't use those too often. Um, and then I got the uh, the array of torques starting with that. It's probably a T15 and that's a T40, T30, yeah. So in kind of the common sizes there, and then I got a I keep this one in there, which is a standard Phillips. That one's pretty worn, and I, you can see the bit holder caught a little a uh, little bit of. Uh, angry pixies there one time uh, working inside of a live J, live J box trying to secure it to the wall uh, so that was fun um, yeah and then they said the, the common nut drivers here obviously the 5 16 is the most worn out one use that one a lot and uh, replacement Phillips bit there Phillips number two Phillips number three right there which I also use quite a bit and then the uh, one of the square sizes and one of the torque sizes which I think are the more common ones so those longer bits come in handy sometimes. Sometimes it, just the, the length works out just right. I get used to just using this one normally, although sometimes I have to switch to the smaller one if the space requires it. They also have the three and a half inch solid, just like power bits. Um, I have one of those. That I, I think I showed you that earlier in the in the video too. So, anyways, that's my daily kit and uh, the startings of my security bit impact set. So, just thought I'd like to show you that.